and a big win for the Cubs. Ground ball up the middle. Miles. What a play. One out. That is a big league play against a guy who can fly. One out. Nobody on. There. Strike three over the inside corner. Two down. No. This year. Oh. Now how many? 20. Let's see. 19 and 1. On base. Grounds one back to Mulder, and Mulder fires to third for the easy put out. Jones is cut down on a fielder's choice, 1 5, and Cedeno runs it first, and that's what the Cubs have done all year. Last Saturday, and Pierre had two RBIs at the time. Now he's got five, but he won't add one here. Put out 1 3, and the Cubs don't do anything with a leadoff double. No score. Hits terrifically. Hits really well. Oh, terrifically. Eckstein puts St. Louis on top as he goes into left center field. Miles will score, and St. Louis leads one to nothing here in the third. And they will be lined up to sign him. Another ground ball, this time to Eckstein, and he throws it away. That'll be an error on David Eckstein, and the leadoff man is on for Chicago here in the fourth. And the Cubs just picked him up. Former D.H. with the Rangers. Roland, who made the big error last night, kicks one here, a potential double play ball, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. And a fly ball into right center field, well hit. Back at the wall, it's a grand slam for Ramirez. And he does hit like a big guy here in the fourth inning. It's 4-1 to one Chicago. Grand slam number six in the career of Aramis Ramirez. First and third, nobody out. And Ronnie Cedeno lines a base hit into right field. And the score is Merton. That makes it 5-1 to one Chicago here in the fourth inning. You got to keep believing and keep believing right before that. Carlos Zambrano said, hey, you got to believe, and uh, boy, it happened. So I guess there's a power in believing. We've got to believe we're going to get some more runs here because, you know, the Cardinals and Tony are going to try to figure out a way to get back in this game. We'll interrupt the uh, interview because Phil Nevin, in his first start as a Chicago Cub, just rockets one out into center field 400-plus feet away. And with that, it's 7-1 to Cubs here in the fifth inning as Nevin gets in on the phone. He's vulnerable inside. No, nope, they're going back out there. And that one is inside and driven to left at the wall. It is off the wall. Out of the reach of Matt Merton. And they're going to bring Taguchi all the way around from first to make it a five-run game. That's just outstanding base running by So Taguchi. And Mulder, a base hit to make it 7-3. to three. RBI number five for Mark Mulder jumped on that high delivery from Glendon Rush, and it's a four-run game. Navoa slaps at it, pops it into right center field. Back is Taguchi on the run, won't get there, takes a hop, and it's a ground rule double for the first hit from Navoa. It carries to the track, pops out of play after a bounce on the track. One run scores, and it's 8-3 Cubs here in the seventh. And that leash for Mulder was not short enough. Force went on to beat the Mets. Ground ball to the right side. Out at second and out at first. Eckstein grounds into his second double play of the day. 4-6-3. Turned by Nafi Perez and Ronnie Cedeno. Second and third, two out. Ground ball left side, base hit. Another hit for Molina. Two runs are going to score. That makes it an 8-5 game, and the Cardinals are one base runner away from having a chance in this game. Molina with three RBIs on the day. A 1-2. Back up the middle, off the glove of Howard. Has a chance to recover, and out to end the game. Cubs win it 8-5. And now they exhale down in the Chicago dugout. It was a close play at first. Nevin handcuffed a little on that throw coming into the sunlight.